Lieutenant General Stanley E. Clark III assumed responsibility for more than 100,000 airmen as the new director of the Air National Guard at a ceremony at the Air National Guard Readiness Center, Joint Base Andrews, March 22nd. This is quite an honor, and I am humbled at this opportunity to serve all of you. I actually arrived in Washington two weeks ago, but the responsibility found me immediately. I arrived during a period of budget turmoil and uncertainty, but I view this time as a period of opportunity as well. My commitment to you and to your Adjutant General is clear. My staff and I will do everything within our authority to ensure our airmen have clear policies, equipment, training, and resources to accomplish assigned missions. General Frank Grass, Chief of the National Guard Bureau, described how General Clark is the right man at the right time for the job. And I know in the back of Sid's mind, because of the places he had worked before, uh, places on the Air Force staff, in the A-8, uh, in the strategic plan side of it. Sid had the background to get him ready for this job. Uh, an Alabama Air Guardsman served as, as the Assistant Adjutant General for Air. A an A-10 and an F-16 pilot uh, commanded squadron, wing, expeditionary wing. All of that prepared him for this job, getting ready to represent everyone in this building and all the Air National Guard across the map in 54 states, territories, and the District of Columbia. After the ceremony, General Clark noted how his predecessor, Lieutenant General Harry Wyatt, set him up for success. We've got a great story to tell about the Air National Guard. I just want to continue to advance that ball down the field. You know, a great team doesn't stay in place. They either fall behind or they move ahead. We need to keep moving ahead. Under General Wyatt's uh, direction, the Air National Guard did wonderful things. I just want to keep moving that ball in that same direction. General Clark is responsible for formulating, developing, and coordinating all policies, plans, and programs affecting Guard members throughout the United States and its territories. At Andrews Air Force Base, this is Sergeant First Class Robert Stevenson reporting.